everybody. We're back from PAX. We've all survived our travels home from Philly with delays, not delays, etc. Mm-hmm. And uh, as Eugenio would say, it's Penny Epi. Oh my I love that I don't even have to say it anymore. Y'all still hate it, but I don't even have to say it. It's oh, not- it's don't it's say y'all on it. Yeah. No, I do hate it, but I, just, I know I you think do. It's funny. <laughs> And then you wow. said it. it's great. Also, you all wow. let me uh, write the go live tweets this season. So obviously the go live says Penny Epi. Perfect. Yeah. I hadn't even looked yet. Oh, no. <laughs> we well, retweet and like. <laughs> well. Hi, we're back from Pax Unplugged. I hope you were there in person and got to watch us live. That was awesome. And if you watched at home, it was great. Um. Do we remember how to do this? Because we've all had a very long week between episodes, it feels like. Because mm-hmm. even Brian was just like, it's only been a week. And then I looked at the calendar, I'm like, oh my god, you're right. What a week, though. It's different when you're at a table versus, like, we've. it's been two weeks since we've been in front of our computer, so we yeah. don't have to do this part anymore. Yeah, yeah. I like that. That's mm. good. That makes me feel less like time is fake. <laughs> It's totally fake, though. It's I mean, it very is. Fake. No, it's but very sometimes fake. when you come back from a con or like you're at a space, it's like, oh, was that real? Because then you're it's back in your rhythm. Me, it, yeah. it's, it's, I, it's taken I'm me almost green. a week to come down from like yeah. the con a week ago. Yeah. 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 And actually, uh, while we're doing intros, if you want to share your great blog post about that, Brian, feel free. Please. Um, yes, the post you just wrote. <laughs> I wrote a blog. I, yeah. I, did, I did something. Wait, you blogged? Yay. Yay. <laughs> All right, while Brian that. is doing that, we're going to introduce ourselves again. And I'm going go to go to my right, the way I see it. Now, be Sharif, who are you? Where were you? What do you do again? Hey, uh, <laughs> like I general. am, was, and in the future will be Sharif. Nice. Uh, he, he, him. Uh, I'll be playing Shaka, uh, Celestia, Chiefly Warlock, also he, him. Uh, looking forward to coming back from uh, missing an episode. So it should be, and missing the second possible time to play in person so i still have not played in person since before covid with everybody which is great we're gonna get this we are uh, gonna get gonna this yeah, <laughs> we are. yeah we are one day yeah. uh, uh, I know who runs my house yeah yes uh that takes us to our our shadow rogue uh hi everybody I'm Eugenio, I'm DM Jazzy Hens, uh, have been, will be, and currently am. And I play our phantom tiefling rogue, uh, what's his name? Kent. C. Um, and I don't know, this. Stop. For the record, I saw the <laughs> gifts and I was Oh my god, the to... gifts are so good. They're so good. But I'm such an old man, I was like, how do I get Giffify? To tweet this without just being a hyperlink, how do I just put the gif in? And I, I like, oh my god, you just have to save it. I, I don't know what that means. I was try, I saved it as an image, and it, it was like, this isn't what I'm trying to do. It's oh my god, Gaz- it's not I my mean, intro time. Masood, we'll get there. Masood has gone through the looking glass into Gazrek, it seems, which oh I love. Oh my god, yeah, this is amazing. Love. Love. It happens. We'll, we'll have we'll have a very special episode of teaching you how to use this. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uh, be full special, but please, please, please. Yes, I love it. Uh, I don't uh, know if I said so. I will remind uh, both Kent and I use he him pronouns. Brian. Yeah, hi. I am Brian. I am still reeling from the fact that Masu doesn't understand how to use gifts. And uh, I play uh, Virgil. I, I almost lost it. I play Virgil. Our Asimar Storm Sorcerer. Virgil's pronouns are he, him. My pronouns are he, they. Over to you, Masu. Hi, I'm Masood. My pronouns are he, him. I play Gosric Nomarad, everyone's favorite socialist businessman druid construct. Uh, and I don't know how to use gifts from Gifify the website. I'm really good on my keyboard because I got an Android. I go to the GIF button and I search and I literally just search Masood. And then suddenly all oh, these gifts. It's an Android rivals. commercial now. I'm sorry. Oh, it's wow. great. I'm so sorry. Can we step back real quick, though? What do you think the website's called? <laughs> Giphy? Giffify? Giffify, oh, right? so Now, see, you had it right the first time, but then you went so back close. to the other weird Giffify. version. So <laughs> close. Because wow. like, you Giffify things. <laughs> it's like a verb. Oh, my God. Like Revivify, Giffify. Uh, you know what is I mean? Is that like a spell? Is it, is it the spell Revivify, but Regifify? Is that what we're doing now? Revivify. Maybe oh, if no. I could change single letter, like, multiple times on that, I would do that. Oh. Uh, but, yes, I can't. And I will learn. And, and 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 you know what? It will be the time I start to actively use Twitter aggressively, um, oh, which no. is going to be a dangerous, dangerous time for all y'all. So just I fear. beware this Pandora's box. But speaking of gifts, this is Painting Pirates in the chat. 
Yeah. I absolutely forgot to horrify Eugenia with this at the live show. It is a mini <laughs> of a GIF. To be very clear, gifts do not horrify me. They horrify Kent. <laughs> and also it isn't gifts as people. It is just the dichotomy of their size versus the size of their ears. Mm. <laughs> I'm be very that. clear about all of this. But at the table, makes me were, sound like a racist. Were... <laughs> I've thought about it this entire time. Yes, yeah, like, I know. So bye. Where it's I'm like... like... How do hey, not in the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you about the pal Al phenomenon. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. Let's see. I'm sorry. Hi. Please take us yes. out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hi. I might be Latia. I don't know. Um, <laughs> my pronouns are she, her. I play uh, Dahani, everyone's favorite murder bird, Eric Oker monk, whose pronouns are also she, her. She might be Dahani. I don't know. I'm here. <laughs> um, but I'm your I'm your DM for season fourteen. Uh, Tanya also knows Cypher Tear. When I am not in the DM chair, I'm playing Sleece and her girlfriend Faye. Both their pronouns are she her as well as mine. And I'm all your various NPCs. Pronouns may vary depending on the NPC. And now back to Sharif with ad reads. All right, I'm gonna try to do a quicker than normal uh, ad read stuff just so we can uh, save time. We love all our ad people as well. Um, D and D Beyond, digital character sheets, encounter management, dice rolls, looking up spells, making up monsters, keeping all your character sheets, all kind of dope stuff. D and D Beyond uh, dot com. Uh, make sure to check out the chat if you're listening live. We'll be giving away a bundle as usual. Um, look for the code um, and, and remember that you must be present to win. So make sure to check that out. Um, our dice trays and vaults provided by Wormwood W Y R M Wood at WormwoodGaming dot com. As Brian is delicately balancing almost like he has one of those finger um uh trap things almost looks like oh and he dropped <laughs> and he dropped our wonderful merchandise which no. by the way was on purpose to yeah. show how resistant they are to uh to uh drops um so make sure to uh check them out at wormwoodgaming.com and use the code rifles for free domestic shipping uh our dice uh are sponsored by die hard dice check them out at dieharddice.com and use the code RIVALS for 10% off. Uh, I was hoping that Brian took out some dice and dropped those as well. Um, check out Stormcrow for some geeky gear at shop.stormcrow.com. Cups, masks, shirts, posters, all that stuff, including Masoon's mug, allegedly. I was going to try um, and drop Why are we dropping everything? No, no, no. <laughs> everything My object everything work dropping. is good. The commitment wasn't um, that good. <laughs> um, if you want to sound oh so silky smooth like the RIVALS crew, check out Blue microphones, please. No one drop your microphone. Uh, at at uh, crew.bluemike.com slash rivals. All your purchases there. We will get um, some notice for that, which is uh, great. And they have a lot of other awesome pr products as well. Um, also, uh, make sure to check out Idol Champions at Codename Entertainment. All of the rivals are in the game, and this yeah. game runs on everything. And they just released a very awesome epic battle poster that has, uh, I think, over 100 or so people on it including the rivals it's kind of like a little like where's waddle thing to see mm -hmm. where everybody is so uh make sure to look for us there um in that battle is, is where's waddle still a thing where's waddle's a thing i i thing? was an i spy kid personally you know okay. yeah i, I don't know if spy uh, kid kids too. Mm -hmm. yeah i don't i don't know if kids still do where's waldo at the doctor's office i don't know um <laughs> oh i was children's highlights i was like what are y'all talking about oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah okay yeah. yes yes Hi Hi highlights for children also um, and uh, we're also uh, sponsored by Voice Mod as well. Do we have any uh, Voice Mod representatives? Uh, oh, I don't think it's coming through. It's not coming through. It had a hot second where it was working, and it I was. was terrified. It's too high. It's too high. Zoom says no. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, this we are uh, <laughs> mutes here. We, oh, well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. There's, there's an awesome muting filter that yeah, yeah not absolutely really saying anything, which is which is uh, great. So, um, make sure to check out Voice Mod. Actually, don't have the stuff in the documents. I don't normally say no, nah, but it's in so, the uh, chat. You got the Nightbot to put the link in there. Yeah, awesome, great. So, with with that, uh, I guess I'll pass it off to our Wooch Captain. Uh, and new community manager, Danny. Ah, no. yeah. Latia. <laughs> Latia.
<laughs> it's me. Uh, yeah, let's do some whooshing. Uh, thanks to Wizards of the Coast for saying that I can still play Rivals. Uh, <laughs> we love you. Yeah, we wouldn't All fight right. you over it. That's fine. I I would. I mean, we we would, but now we don't have. It to. was a, it, it was a, it was a stipulation. I need to continue to play Rivals, or I will not accept the job. Hell yeah. Uh, previously, <laughs> on Rivals of Waterdeep. Whoosh. Whoosh. Not me almost tripping while that whoosh started. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> that, I forgot there was something. Wait, man. Yeah. 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 Yay. Hurrah. Look at him go. Look at chat. Yeah. Like, yeah. We went to the palace. Yes. We had a lovely time. The palace. Yeah. And then, and then inside of the palace. And then. <laughs> Inside of the we, throne room, and we killed the and guy then in the throne inside room. Inside of the yeah. prince, honestly, yeah, inside, just... the, inside of the prince. <laughs> yeah. Oh my! There you go. Are we the magic <laughs> school bus now? Okay. I mean, in a lot of ways, this has been one elaborate magic school bus episode this season. What? <laughs> That's news to me, and I'm running it. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Who's Miss Frizzle? Not I. You no. And me. No. <laughs> So we, what happened? Uh, we decided that we would go with the person to the to Star Haven. Um, yeah, we were like, okay, you appear to have you you appear to have our friends captive. So I guess we will go with you to Star Haven. And um, we also learned what happened to uh, Kent and Gosrick while we were while we were having fun. Uh, which is to say, not much. Uh, we were off uh, chatting with merchants yeah. and such. Uh, I was stoned and, for like a minute. It's yeah. just like a minute. That's cool. Can uh, I say and- real quick, the idea that y'all, you two were in like the market bazaar at the same time as me and Sharif were trying to like throw people off our trail, just like at opposite ends of the bazaar. I think that's yes. so funny to, to yeah. think about. There's yeah. definitely a moment like where we're haggling with a vendor and through our shoulder, you just see y'all like dashing behind yeah, and then like, <laughs> like weaving. Oh yeah. It's oh, the God. perfect farce. God. Um, so we, we came back and discovered you all being uh, marched away by the palace guard. And so we decided to follow. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I alerted you to our presence by messaging very quietly. Farcha! Yeah, it was... Uh, did you no? You did minor illusion for that, I think. Oh, it yeah, like, might have been minor yeah, illusion. Yeah, That's right, because I don't have um, message. You have yeah, message, yeah, yeah. which great, which which gave Virgil a great way to basically message back, speaking out like yeah. speaking out loud with yeah. narrative exposition Thank everything you. that had happened to the guard. Like, Thank just you. let me get this clear as to what's going on. <laughs> Sending that info back to Kenton Gosberg. We were great. a great team in the van. Like, uh, like we were so ready in the back. Like, we were like getting all the information. Is like. You got to keep going. Get some more information out of. Yeah, we can extract you when you need to. We're yeah. not being snarky back about yeah. the perfect chapter one exposition type conversation that Virgil was having. No, I, yeah. I, I definitely detected all the snark, but relayed none of it. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think um, uh, you all then sort of uh, you all made your way deeper into the actual palace itself. Uh, eventually, having an audience with. Prince Andrew and his royal council. Um, there is a poor council. It's poor council. Um, the, one dude survived. One dude just got out. Right, like he just ran away. I felt like there was good survival instinct from the council, but before that, yeah, we we basically dealt with the the elite guard whose yeah. name we never got because, frankly, it didn't matter. By the yeah. time of the end of this recap, you'll know why. Um, <laughs> Andrew Andrew was being like that that awful um horrible ostentatious magnanimous person who doesn't even speak to us and right. is like my guard can handle all of this yeah and then we said we were tired of talking to the guard <laughs> <laughs> and uh pretty effective in terms of our handling of the situation i thought um, so. we try to get a reasonable amount of information out of him as we could before resorting to some more f- intense tactics uh and eventually once those tactics got reached yes kent did do a lot of stabbing uh (laughs) we were able to um ascertain that 
Prince Andrew obviously was working from with someone back in Faerun and Waterdeep itself. Uh, oh. That this agreement had occurred um, in combination, maybe not just with one someone, but with uh, many someones. Yeah. Um, one of the names that we uh, basically got out of uh, them was uh, God. Now I'm so self conscious. <laughs> now I'm so self conscious. Of Laryl. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. okay. So Laurel it rhymes with no. <laughs> Oh, you ass. Oh, my gosh. All right. Uh, but so, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the silver hand uh, was our clue to sort of back to Waterdeep. Um, upon nearly vanquishing uh, the prince, um, we... No, oh, we, no, we no. No, we no, actually, we, no, we, we did vanquish. We, we vanquished the shit out of him. We, got that. we, we got then that. recycled. Yeah. Well, not yeah. anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. Reduce, reuse, recycle. It's Exactly, fine. exactly, exactly. <laughs> uh, but we got him to basically uh, give up his end of the contract of this bounty that was placed on us. Um, and I think we left with being given a ship yeah to travel give us a writ to get a ship back of course we don't have a crew or really any idea how to get there right but we have a ship you're right yeah and um, he he uh, he killed his own guard to live yeah yes, that's he why, did, he that's why energy. it didn't yeah. matter what name the guard had yeah that great spell yeah. though very was, cool. oh life transference is a very dark good spell yeah, yeah, but yeah. we did keep we did keep the armor because it was glorious. Right, right, right. Shiny. Yeah. I, Celise is the only one who could maybe wear it and like yeah. doesn't need it, but it was so pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. We'll get... Maybe we can recycle it. it. Oh, absolutely. Can, 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 Ken can maybe do a form and we can basically put it in the manor. You know, oh, like, that. Uh, yeah. oh, the Hall of Vanquished Enemies. Mm -hmm. What? Okay. They're very good. Very good. I Love mean, we that. just have to like remove okay, the things the people guys. say about us are coming real clear when <laughs> yeah. you said that. Yeah. I understand like, why Laurel's right. mad. We keep a trophy of all the people that we defeated. Yeah. Mm. Uh, no, also, we just need to remove the like um, skin, like from Men in Black from the inside of it. You know what I mean? Oh, the just, goo. We'll yes, it was. Yeah, we, yeah. We're just going to press it to take that off. It's fine. It right. Exactly. Um, yeah. But yeah, we, we got information, even like it, it was. It was like you know for as for as quickly, not quickly, because it was an epic fight. It was <laughs> quite good, yeah. but mm. for as handily as we as we defeated Andrew, uh, we were just doing the recap, right? Yeah, we were yeah. about towards the end. We, we got our ship. We defeated Andrew. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. He was basically we got information, got a writ. Um, <laughs> uh, Shaka will be Shaka will meet us, um, and our party. Basically, we were told, "I'm giving you a ship." Get off my rock. What more do you want? Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm also, glad you remember that. Yeah. Also, I want to shout out the absolutely freaking awesome dossier, actual physical dossier yes. that Tanya created for us Incredible. and put in our faces and mm, made us all cool. excited. Beautiful. <laughs> that was I, a nice surprise. Yeah. I don't know where the second one went. I know Latia has one of them. I have no I idea what the other one them. is. I think it got left behind in the green room. Oh, well. No. I mean, I emailed you, you know what? the dossier. You know, somebody but... out there has all the information on us. Right, right, right. right. We, better watch, we better watch our backs. Now. Someone's going <laughs> to actually have that moment of like Charlie from uh, It's Always Sunny, where it's like just our files put up. I've worked on the translations. I've almost got it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, I did send everyone on the cast the actual dossier files. You have it in living color and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Great. Um, yeah, let's see how much action we can get in almost an hour. Yeah. Um, and I believe oh, we man. said that Shaka was just brought back to wherever you all are. I believe you weren't going back to port to get a ship so you can get yeah. off of this rock, literally, and mm -hmm. uh, get back to, to Waterdeep. Uh, Shreef, in case you didn't see the episode, basically, you got arrested for zombifying the guardsman. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, fair. Uh, what what condition am I in? Like, am I the same? I've been. Uh, I just want to know what. Uh, how to approach myself being reintroduced to the character? I think is he is he still wearing? The, I just want to know. Yeah. Did they leave him in the ill-fitting outfit, or did they put oh, like Shaka's regular clothes back on him? We can Good bail question. Shaka out of jail. Like, we can go and like bail him out if that's okay. I would love. Uh, like. Tanya, is that cool? Can we like go to processing and see Chaka and hear from him? What is totally well, like, experience? Well, hold on. First off, 
Yeah. Shaka himself said he put on his regular clothes before the, the oh. elite guard showed up. <laughs> okay. But if yeah. you can quickly somehow go to jail and bail him out, run with it. Let's see what happens. I think I, I, I mentioned where like the thing with Andrew doesn't take too long and I'm sure he's like still, I would imagine he's it like, hasn't been to process like fully. No, I'm in like a his... holding. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. yeah. All right. If you want to go bail Shaka out, you know what? I'll allow it. We need some mm-hmm. relief after, after tech fail. <laughs> go forth, go forth. What? First off, how do you even know where Shaka is being held? Um, we would have asked the uh, we would have asked the little retainer kobolds running around like yeah. since Andrew's probably done with dealing with us. Mm-hmm. We'd be like, look, look, I I don't really understand your laws here. Y'all apparently have a lot of provisos and clauses, but where is our friend? Mm-hmm. Oh, you mean the the tiefling that that kept saying it'll work, even though we hadn't asked many questions. That tiefling. Yeah. 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 Uh, that sounds about right. And the guardsman is just like, please take take this dude, just take him. Um, so they're not going to let all of you go back to to the holding area. Who wants to mm-hmm. actually go to the cell? I, I have, I mean, I'm very happy to go. I just have a vision though of Gosric like haggling for the bail in yeah, a way yeah, that yeah. is delightful to me. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, Ga- Gosric would volunteer, and the question is yeah. whether or not the you all let him. That's I mean, the-, the problem is, yeah, we technically, you know, if it, if a legal representative were to be picked, it sadly would yep. be Gosric. <laughs> yep. Sadly. So uh, Gosric is 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 acting as your barrister. Mm-hmm. Oh no. Yeah, it's happening. Okay. I uh, <laughs> I take my hat off and tie my beard on top of my hair to make it more of a wig when I step inside. Um, as as Gazrik is going, like Virgil's like just out of the, you hear Virgil saying, "All you have to do is get him." Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, Your right. Honor. It will be a simple negotiation. No, no, it won't. Oh I, no! Uh... I guess you all don't want Shaka back. But please go uh... on. Hey, I'm chilling. I'm just I'm, I'm gone. Uh, uh, I go up to the uh, like uh, I walk in. I walk up to the front desk. Um, excuse me. Uh, my representative is currently being held, um, and I would like to provide his power of barrister. Now, are you tall enough to see over the desk? I've uh, the beautiful thing about trigonometry is it taught me angles. So I've stepped far enough back uh, for them to uh, look up and them to gaze at me. I've rung the bell, took a step back. Mm -hmm. Who's your, your what? Your client? Oh, yes. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I believe the Sharafka. Who the fuck is Oh, the the tiefling that, you know, zombified one of our friends? That one? Allegedly! I will not sit here and listen to any claims without proper evidence until I have time to meet with my client. And you see the guard just kind of lean back and and point to a cell where Jeff is basically being held and is mm-hmm. clothed once more. You mean that zombie over there? That one? That one? That, that your friend, that Jeff keeps trying to go to your friend because he made him a zombie. I that didn't one. think we were litigating the crime. I thought we were just getting him out. If well, I... Mm-hmm. I told him to just go get him. Oh, right. I forgot who I was talking about. Okay, carry on, guys. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Yeah. Um, so, you know, uh, this is once again, allegedly, <laughs> that is just my friend for all you know. <laughs> They could just be hanging out in costume, doing a whole bit. If I could have a moment alone with uh, Jeff and my client, which I'm sure you all allow in a conference room, perhaps under supervision. Uh, what? This really... is a jail. What do you think? Is... Oh, I don't get time with my client. There's I'm sorry. Hold for me to. And they lean over and kind of like, this is jail. This is not an attorney's office. Are you even sure that's a zombie? Are you even positive? <laughs> do you want I, to join your friend? I would like to do an inspection of the zombie. I'm sorry, what? I would like to verify the slanderous claims against my client that he committed such a heinous act and 
prove once and for all that he is innocent. You better get the best performance of your life. Well, while guys are, while we can hear this happening in the <laughs> like, Virgil's just looking at the writ that Andrew gave us, and it, it says it says right here we can we can just go. I do. Are you right are you telling that to someone? I'm telling that to to Hani and Ben oh, okay. because we're just yeah, we're yeah, like yeah. we're hearing we're hearing Gosberg doing his level best, and I'm just Absolutely. like, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I don't. It, yeah, yeah, we're I gonna agree. get. We're okay. gonna more. We're gonna end up with more of us arrested. How long are we gonna let this go? I mean, I have a plan. I I need a performance, and it's gonna be a real high performance. Absolutely, track. absolutely. Can I tell you what my performance I- includes before I, we roll? Just to see. No. Okay. Roll. Absolutely. So, well, then before I roll, him, before as I, as I, as I take you back. How to though? They haven't let us back. We're just we're just listening. Oh, you can just hear this. one assist this. I don't you need it. Cannot. I cast enhance ability on myself oh, blessings. before blessings. I go in. Now That's what a does third that level do? Spell. I will burn that, um, and I will use it to do what, what's the thing for charisma? It's not uh, eagles. eagles. Sp- I think it is eagle, eagle, eagle splendor. splendor. Yeah, I cast yeah. Cr- uh, eagle splendor on. Wait, you can only in. how many spells are these? Both cantrips? <clears throat> no, this is the, this is a third level spell slot. I I have. I'm gonna tell you. I've got a couple first level spell slots left. I've okay. got two fifth level, I have I... one ninth, and that's it. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh boy. Don't waste <laughs> yeah, don't we have we can get yeah, use the third. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, please t- tell us what these all do and what is your what role, and then we'll see what happens. So I cast the Eagle Splendor before I go in, right? As as they're leading me back. Mm-hmm. And I uh, I walk over, I, I double check on Sharafka and says, don't worry, buddy, I got this. Uh, and I turn over and say, um, I would like to do an inspection and to respect Absolutely. Jeremy's privacy, uh, Jeffrey's privacy, sorry, or Bernard. There's so many nicknames for this guy all over the city. <laughs> um, I would uh, provide uh, perhaps, uh, oh, yes. And I uh, see there's like this uh, curtain and I shine a light behind it, so you see the shadow of the two of us. It's like, for privacy, but you can also see that we're both here. Um, and I pull it across. And... How do you reach the top? You're a rock gnome. I'm a rock gnome, but it's got a long sort of thing. And I assume the from pulling the bottom of the curtain, it'll also reach. Uh, if need be, I'll like pull that. a stool over. I've got it all covered uh, in terms of the accessibility of this. I've got it set up. I've got the curtain pulled across. Okay. I stand behind him and say, and I watch as uh, this guy, Jeff, keeps trying to walk into the side of the brick wall that uh, Shaka's <laughs> on the other side of. And I was like, okay, buddy, let's turn around. It says, Jeff, Bernard, I know you're not like Wait, this. Wait, you didn't you just... roll. I, 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 The performance is happening. No, no, no. I said you had to roll first. Okay, okay. Let me roll the performance. Okay. It's with advantage. No. I use enhance ability. Oh, okay. It's a name of 20. I don't even need it. It's yes. one. Yes. What? Whoa. Sometimes the it's, dice you know really what? help tell your story. I'm like, ready. They really do. All those ones from the season. This was this all incredible. worth it in this particular moment. Uh, so I pull the curtain aside. I'm standing over there. My hands are in. Uh, I'm holding Jeff's. And I say oh. out loud, Jeff, I know you've been drinking a lot tonight. I know you've been under the quiet influence, and I think you ate something bad that discolored your skin and really put you under. I've got you, buddy. I've got you. And I'm going to reach into the top of my uh, beard bun and pull out another diamond. And I'm going to crush it and cast True Resurrection again. And I say, I will bill my client later and send the receipts to this Particular oh, precinct. My God. Uh, and as I uh, hold my hands over him, you watch uh, the like, you see the light behind us just grow a little bit more and his skin loses its uh, bluish tinge. It comes back into its full hue. His eyes become less cloudy. Uh, he stands up a little straighter. He uh, like his jaw is no longer like dislocated. It resets itself. Um <laughs> Yeah, and he's standing up and he's looking down at me. I don't know what this dude's mind has been up to while he's been a zombie, if there's any consciousness, but this is the moment he returns to. And I hope that this confusion adds him a benefit and say, 
All right, okay. And I pull him across as if, does this look like a zombie to you all? Release my client this instant. And the guard is just kind of looking at you like, you didn't think I'd know you just cast a spell? What? Do you have any proof? Allegedly, 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 allegedly. If Meanwhile, so, there's like though. shards of diamond dust all, <laughs> all over the ground. You don't and know, so by, by the way, you have, you, you've mm -hmm. asked no questions about this guard. You have no idea what class they are, uh -huh. what they do. Okay. It's, it was, I, you wanted, I, I rolled the performance. I did, I, I, I know. Prepared with, I, <laughs> I didn't say this. I mean, you succeeded. You, you succeeded very well, but I'm just like, they, you succeeded and you did bring him back. But the guard does know you cast a major spell. Also, it's a prison. I have this, and I pull out the uh, the writ from Prince Andrew. But Virgil had it. Is we only have one copy? Yes. Oh, oh, oh! I have reached into my pocket to pull it out. <laughs> it's not there. It's not there. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> let me confer with my sub council. Uh, <laughs> run back. Do who has the writs from Prince Andrew? I thought I had it in my pocket. The writ. Yeah. You mean the one that says we can leave with no questions asked, get a and ship no... and go home? That yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, I have that. Okay, can I have it? Why? Because, <sighs> I mean, I did a great job. I'm killing it up there, but I don't really want to be here that Wait, much. Who did you like... kill, Gosrick? No, I if anything, I did the opposite. It sounded like more of an unkill. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah but... absolutely. Uh, or if anything, you can come with me. And like Gazer holds up his hand like a toddler being walked. Uh, no, Selyse. Uh, by, by no, like, Selyse is done. Selyse is done. She grabs <laughs> Gazer yeah, by just, the man just... bun. <laughs> yeah. ah! You see like twigs and stuff start falling out of his hair. No, my components. You'll pick them up on the way out. <laughs> and she just walks back to this guard. Look, he unzombified your guard. They're back to normal. Hopefully they're they'll be okay eventually. Give us our friend, and I'll take this gnome off your hands. I'll trade you. It's two for one deals. Good. Do any of you say anything? Just do Celise doing this. <laughs> the guards. Am, am I in visible range of this? Or, oh yeah, or... you can see okay. all of this. Okay. Also, am, am I in the cell by myself? Or yeah, you are absolutely alone. Oh damn it! Okay, all right. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm no just, more zombies. <laughs> Thank goodness. I'm just watching. Uh, then I'm. I'm just like. Gr I'm. I'm. I'm you can gripped. hear all of this. It's. 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 It's a very gripping thing. So my hands are on the bars, and I'm. And the guard is just popcorn. Like, some from somewhere. Yeah. The guard is just. They're like kind of like. Well, we have Bernard. Jim. Oh my God! I don't remember his name anymore. So um, many nicknames this guy goes by. And and they just kind of look at you, at, like still in Sleece's grip. Just, and they just like rifle through their desk because they're kind of discombobulated by all of this. They grab a key, they let Shock out, and they're just like, leave, go away now. Thank you. Okay, bye. I will invoice you. Uh, I turn to Shock out. I will invoice you for that diamond, just so you know. Um, no, you're I not. Don't... No. No. It... What? And so holds have them to... up higher, like so. They're yeah, true. I, I, I didn't hire you for anything, so you did this pro bono, man. It's great. You're right. I think it's You're great. Right. You, you are right. You. I did not. Thank you for reminding me. That yeah. was on me. I should have had the clause. Next time when we get back, I'll make it so I have power over. It. We can make sure I have no. power over attorney for the what? No, no, absolutely not. Also, so what happened, guys? Maybe. <laughs> Because uh, I don't know anything that's happened, that's uh, occurred. We'll, uh, we'll so tell, I'll you tell you uh, on the way. <laughs> on the way. Uh, um, yeah. Walk and talk. Walk and talk. Yeah. Yeah. Sorkin. Yeah, let's Sorkin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are there so many cameras on the <laughs> yeah. clock? I don't understand. Weird. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Sleece eventually puts Gosrick down like, you better not invoice him. And we're never right. giving you power of attorney. We'd know better. What do you mean? I'm statistically, no. I'm great for all the cases I've worked. The the issue is that like Gazric, uh, Gazric and Salise are the two that have the highest survivability, having the the best healing, and Gazric does tend to stay a little bit out of things. So uh, not for any skill on Gazric's part necessarily, but more for the fact that he, the odds of him being the only one left are fairly high. <laughs> no, not as long as Salise is around. You don't trust me? Uh, no. no. <laughs> you hear uh, Salise and Faye and you said no. We but, should oh. we should we should go. We should go. Yes. Okay. Uh so we met Prince Andrew. Apparently, and like 
give the dump to uh like Shaka on the way back um as we arrived by the port and then sort of arrive is like so I don't know I'm kind of caught up on the idea like did we are we good for water deep are we like a good force or not that's something we should discuss on however long it takes us to get home mm. and Sleese is looking around and kind of looking at you too and Faye is looking at the, all of you so do any of you know how to drive these ships I look at Virgil yeah I, I look at Virgil everyone's looking at Virgil everyone turns slowly <laughs> <laughs> Virgil actually doesn't notice all of this because he is like very slowly running his eyes across all of the ships. Like aside from them looking like ships and especially the ones that don't look like ships, like the ones that look like weird creatures or that other, I don't want to look at the one with the tentacles. That's wild. <laughs> it feels oddly and strangely familiar, but mm. Um, he turns to, you know, essentially, again, checking that Prince Andrew gave them basically carte blanche, which, you know, I understand now why he's not that good a ruler. And turns to Kent and is like, pick one. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, and Kent starts looking for the gaudiest, sparkliest frilliest and then spots i think it's a oh i don't remember who it it looks like a big like dragonfly. butterfly moth yes, dragonfly that's, that's what one. i'm going for i was for. like that's i knew exactly one. which one you were talking yeah, about yes. yeah yeah <laughs> i was like flying thing with vaguely translucent wings yes dragonfly uh but like the wings are all filigreed and and Ooh. and like i don't i'm not now to be clear i don't know how space worthy it actually looks but that's the one that i point at I'm actually looking okay. up a picture of this because it they do look really cool. Yeah, they really do. While you're looking up that picture, fun fact, I was once bit by a dragonfly and collapsed. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh. Oh. That's such an intense <laughs> two-sentence story. Is, that that pretty is intense. it the star moth? Yeah. It was, uh, uh, there's the damselfly ship or the star moth. Um, oh, it has to be the damselfly. The damselfly okay. is absolutely, it basically Heck, matches, yeah. it matches exactly what Kent and Virgil are wearing too, which is just Yeah, perfect. yeah, yeah, And yeah. it's the gayest looking <laughs> ship I've ever seen. It's Hello! my favorite. <laughs> Look at it! <laughs> Meanwhile, um, Dahani, Dahani is just looking at a space galleon and I'm like, that one looks like a, a sea ship. I figure you'd be better. That's a fair point. To fly that one, then, I mean. But the, there's oh. only, also only, well, six counting Faye and Fenris. Yeah. But Dahani knows literally nothing about ships other than the fact that she used one to get to the Sword Coast. So <laughs> in terms of in terms of flyability or sailability, <laughs> that's what she thinks is probably best. Well, that would be a great idea, except the galleon needs a lot more people. Remember, there were like uh, 20 people on the galleon. That yeah, there was you. like a whole crew. Yeah, yeah. That's true. There would be a, a, some some amount of like, we should probably pick a small one. There's only for six of us, seven of us. Yeah, uh, so the one that you picked would actually be uh, saleable to get you. Yeah, I totally knew that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. Of course, <laughs> we are, let's wait just to see. It's, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Experience. Mm -hmm. So so uh, Shaka, he looks around <laughs> and says, so it's just us going? There's not someone that's going to pilot this to... <laughs> Are you asking are you someone? Really are you talking among? Yeah, yourself? yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm looking around and like asking everyone. Uh, well, they. I don't think Prince Andrew put that in the writ. I suppose we could hire yeah. someone. Or is it like an autopilot thing, like how we got here? Or do Lucy. we have to know mm. how to navigate? Oh. Oh, yeah. Why don't, why don't we inspect? Question. Why don't we inspect it? And, and if we need to hire somebody, we can. We can do that, assuming anyone here will talk to us. Everyone here has been really unfriendly. <laughs> like, yeah, really unfriendly. yeah. Um, I you mean... can you can enter the ship and see if either a version of Lucy is available to help you, or mm -hmm. if, um, or if uh, you can figure it out. If a um... Lucy's here, I hope all the Lucys don't talk to each other. Uh... <laughs> We, hey, we did good. Connected. We did good by that one, Lucy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, I'm. I'm. I guess it's like the port part of buying the ships, or what, as opposed to the ships that are already owned by people. So yeah, it's, we essentially it's the just flash ship <clears throat> plot. Yeah, we um um flash the writ to whoever or whatever needs to see it 
and and Jin Bates like, we'll take this one. And they read over the writ. All right. And they roll it up. All right. Take that one. We'll clear you. Uh, give us a minute. We're gonna mm-hmm. just we're gonna just you know inspect it, look at look it over, make sure it's um a pretty for enough the fairing vessel. I was gonna say C, but that doesn't seem right yeah. right now. Space <laughs> fairing, sure, yes. yes. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, and they just kind of they give you that look like you have no idea what you're doing, and they just kind of not at all. <laughs> they just kind of look at you and they go, they make like a get on with a gesture toward this damselfly ship. Okay. Um, then yeah, um, we would hop on and <clears throat> um, go to essentially like, you know, go to the I mean, looking it over because it's really pretty, but going to whatever yeah. feels like the helm. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, what do we see in there? Um, I'll tell you in a minute because it's a small ship. Mm-hmm. So, it does have a small forward where there is one captain's chair, and right. there are seats to the left and right. So basically, whoever's going to steer is going to be front and center. There's two seats on each side, and there is one spot for weapons in the back of the ship. Okay. So, okay. um, and Fenris could have a spot somewhere. So. When you get up to the forward <laughs> deck and the uh, and the console to fly it, you can do an investigation. Um, yeah, um, gonna investigate, but Virgil actually again, like feeling not quite comfortable, but weirdly slightly familiar, actually uh, sits down in the captain's chair. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All um, right. What are you doing? Does anything happen when he sits down? No. All right. Then I will look there. around for something to. And you're just kind of touching. Not t- like, you know, kind of just surveying because we've now been on multiple of these. None of them have looked the same because mm-hmm. we had a small skiff. We had the ship, which we didn't actually even see the helm of that, of the guy, of the thing we were on. So, yeah, just kind of like, does anything look intuitive or familiar? It's the whole, you know, the. The measure of how advanced the civilization is is how intuitive the technology is, kind of thing. Okay. Uh, um, I, give... I'll I'll roll, but it's awful because it's gonna be because Virgil can't oh. do things. Can like I give this. you the help action by sitting in like the left chair and taking a look at like There's what's over there? Chair. Yeah, sure. Uh, Kent, All right. you want to... who's on con? Hey. Who's on navigation? Do you want to Where's my you? science officer and who's oh. on security? I want to help your beloved. <laughs> I yes, of course. I don't know how helpful I'll be now that he's started saying names of positions and ranks. But yeah, <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go get our uniforms ready. These are very distinct departments that need to be able to be visually identified. Oh sure, sure, sure. <laughs> now, I want a blue shirt, not red, just so we know. You're already uh, wearing a blue shirt. I, yeah, you. Sorry, you're the science officer. You're already in blue. <laughs> now we're off on a one shot. No one's really wearing red. That can be our between season content. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Um, I saw your roll. Anyone else want to try to roll either investigate or something like that? To see, yeah, if you yeah, help? I would like to. Um, I want to look for like because I, I remember in the bigger ship that we were in, there was like that, um, like minority report screen somewhere that showed like, uh, I believe it showed like a map of the ship or where different things were. I'm just looking to see if there's anything like either. Even even if it's like a physical map or like a some, something that like indicates where things are and what they do. Uh no something physical like map, but when you pass your hand over a console, it does light up and you do see a galaxy map. Ooh. Is there it, anything that would indicate where we should go on there? Since um are... visually, not off bat, but if one of you either wants to try to ask the ship something or uh, touch buttons. <laughs> Yeah, Virgil at that point would just go, hello? <laughs> ship? Ship? Who is ship? My apologies. What is your designation? My designation depends on those that hire this vessel out. What would you like my designation to be? 
Virgil looks at Tahani. Oh boy. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we uh, all in this together. This is a group project now. Cool. <laughs> Um, it, you are the rival. Rival designation accepted. Where are we going? Favorite. My brain, my brain blanked from it. I was like, Favorite <laughs> is what I'm supposed to say, right? Yeah. I, yes. I, I, I don't have a galaxy map of D and D. I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Designation: Beirut, city, water deep. Destination. Or designation? Destination, Faerun, City, Waterdeep. And you hear some words and some clicks. Who is acting captain at, while you're on my vessel? Uh, Kent runs over. Uh, Kent has been very busy doing something else because I rolled a natural one on my investigation for the machine. So absolutely not. Oh, no. Not. Yeah, I, I got, got a definitely three not. After, yeah. I yeah, wasn't even looking. Uh, it was bad. So I come over and I've like taken little like... Uh, rivet caps off of different parts of the uh, where I can find them in the ship and I run over to Virgil and I just start pressing them onto his collar and I'm like he is Storm Captain Virgil Storm Captain <laughs> that is not a rank known to me but if that is your designation in this fave rune I will accept it this is designation now I'm gonna call you Storm Captain <laughs> You just see like a little like quizzical blip on the screen. <laughs> Don't worry about it, rival. Don't worry about the it. computer doesn't say the ship does not speak in that moment, but you can tell like the like like Hal is like there's that kind of inquisitive and but there's no voice that comes out. Prepare for departure. Please take your seats. Storm Captain Virgil, please sit. <laughs> you okay? Virgil sits in the chair because now now he's just aligning these four things because they're they're not quite there was a hurry slapdash thing and I'm just like what listen I've got them to you you could put them on in a line okay yeah it's fine <clears throat> um yeah so Virgil will have a seat and I assume that there are chairs enough for everyone else yeah to safely yeah. uh someone should do something with Fenris though unless Faye unless Fenris decides to sit between <laughs> uh Faye and Sleaze and they kind of hold on to him during takeoff. Uh, I use uh, I cast the thorn whip as a cantrip to make like a seat belt sort of thing uh, to like strap Fenris in place comfortably. A thorny seat belt. The thorns are assume... pointed out. It's like it's yeah. one of the collars where the points are out. It's it's. I safe. assume that yeah. the thorns are off. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's like color. it's not. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, so it's, it's, we all know Gosrick likes a bit of thorn. So. That is it's punk. Not weird. That seat belt is weird. punk AF. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Wow. All right. Um, sorry, I'm amusing myself. So, is is the crew known as the Rivals ready to depart for all? Absolutely. Then give the order, Captain, for us to leave. Swivel. Ooh, this is a big deal. You know what I'm waiting for you to say. Yeah, but Virgil I'm curious just, if this version like, of Virgil means... is going to pick the same word as the version of Virgil in ICP. That, oh, Virgil I don't know what leans, that is. Yeah, leans back and 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 feels, and it is a very comfortable chair. Um, just leans back and 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 while might will never admit it, is kind of enjoying the storm, Captain, for a moment, and just says, "Rival, let's fly." Oh. And you hear oh, the hum yeah. of the engines, and there's nothing stopping you. You all are able to depart for all. And um, I'm going to roll and see how long it will take you. Sure. Like, and now does the ship have weapons? Because maybe we should send Brawl a message not to mess with it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I, I just, thought you know, about I'm just that. Kidding. I can go I'm, to the I'm joking. Like, <laughs> got to to run. And as you, as you say that, would you like to engage in combat storm, Captain Virgil? <laughs> I Let's do hope have that some won't weapons. be necessary. Yeah, you go. I do have some weapons. No. Let's hope that that won't be necessary for our journey this time. All right. It will take you 16 solar hours by my calculation to return you to water deep. That's not bad at all. This little ship's faster mm -hmm. than the last one. I am. I am an elite class cruiser. Of course mm. you are. Terrific. You you got a sassy little 
Like nothing uh, but nothing but gold star service for us this yeah, entire time. Yeah, truly, <laughs> the taste level is just through the roof. Good. Love it, rival. It's really good. Work it, rival. Work <laughs> it. What do you think I'm doing by flying? <laughs> well, we're gonna confuse this poor ship. Yeah, Never mind. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we're not right. used to. Yeah, we're not used to having instant feedback to our comments. <laughs> <Yeah>. Like what? <laughs> What? It's almost yeah, like that... people are watching you do this. I don't want to reflect that closely upon what I say. Um, Sixteen solar hours. I, I, that's a that's a while. Should, do we? We should probably talk about what we learned. Dahani mm. is a pancake on the on the the floor. Dahani, Why? Dahani tired. Oh, Dahani, Dahani tired. tired. Oh, okay. I oh, thought you meant more yeah, like the should... so, like the speed just flattened. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, no. what did you do? You need a seatbelt too? Okay, got it, got it, got it. No, no, Dahani is just the pancake on the floor. All right, so uh, what do you all want to talk about? Because Salise is sitting there, just kind of petting Fenris, who's whining a little bit. He's not okay with this. Um, but she's also very just kind of interested in what you all are saying and doing. And Faye is very quiet. So. So, um, those of you that are not fair, Sleece, what do you think about what happened? Shaka would. Shaka looks around and says, "Um, yeah. So I, um, you know, when I was locked down here in Brawl, um, it really reminded me of the time we were locked down, like before. Um, I know that some of you weren't here, but uh, you know, um, me and Gosrick were locked down." Uh, and uh, we had some experiences there, and I feel like now that I've been locked down again, um, I don't know. Does this mean I have like a a record? Like, Salise, I don't, I don't... breaks her silence. You weren't even in there a whole day. I it mean... wasn't even twelve hours of our. It wasn't twelve Gregorian hours. But also, to be fair to Chaka, I hold up the report. Yeah, you do have a record. I mean, technically, we all have a record as some capacity. I, I have a galactic record. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I. I. So here. Here's. Here's. Here. Here's the thing. Right. We're trying to be. We're trying to have a positive reputation. Right. Um. I don't know. Do you? But now I'm technically an intergalactic criminal. Right, I have a record that is beyond the galaxy. Correct. You sound. I mean, you, I know you're making it try to sound like a bad thing, but it just sounds cool, dude. It does sound pretty cool. No, I, I mean, the the truth is, I, uh, for me, listen, you all know enough about me to not be surprised by this, but I, I've always sort of felt that in our line of work, I, I don't know that we can judge our goodness or badness based on the record that we have when compared against the laws of certain lands, particularly those not our own. We were here brought against our will. We did what we had to, to survive, to try to get home, to theoretically protect our place. Whether or not all of our methods are always exactly right. I, I'm not one to think that a short stint in prison necessarily means that we aren't good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there are other questions about that. Right. Based based on what we've learned, I think that it is our reputation or record in Waterdeep that should concern us more. Mm. I struggle a little bit with these notions of law and order. Because to be and honest, then... they often just feel like tools used by those with power in order to keep structures in place that allow them to maintain a sense of control. And some of these individuals don't have the best interest in the minds of, let's say, the citizens of the North Ward or other individuals who might not have that great control of power or community. So if I'm on some record for doing something that that person those individuals don't approve of. I can still sleep at night, my guy, because I think I I don't know the decisions that so far. I I I have not regret regretted a single spell I've cast. But well, what does yeah, that I, have? To... Oh. No, you you can go. Yeah, well, and yeah. Well, Celise pipes up, so. 
first off, how did we even get on this idea of good and evil? Those people captured us. We didn't do anything to go to jail. They wanted us. Well, they captured you all, but you know what I mean. I would have been with you. I think what Gosrick is trying to say, and correct me if I'm wrong for sure, I think he's talking about this in the grand scheme of why we were sent there. Mm. Yeah. To get us away from Waterdeep when uh, everything that we've done in defense of Waterdeep has been to our minds and to the minds of most of the townsfolk mm-hmm. good. Yes. Whereas it's the people or person who's looking down on all of this who feels that the way that they maintain order is being challenged, Hmm. who want to get rid of us. Hmm. Fair enough. Virgil? Like, I know I was going to say, because like Gosrick says, I don't, I don't regret anything that I've done in defense of Waterdeep. No. If so, it's not my fault that somebody else disapproves of it. As long as it got the job done. And Waterdeep is satisfied with it, not somebody who lives in a bright, shiny tower. And also in getting the job done, we've never directly put Waterdeep at the cost of what we were doing. If anything, it was always in defense of Waterdeep. I've never had to use civilians as a distraction or a sacrificial pawn of any kind like the citizens of my city i have kept safe we have kept safe all right uh and faye looks at all of you well kent and virgil you're the newest members of this group what do you think I still have a hard time understanding why Laryl would be involved in something like this. I know I don't know her that well, but she's done enough to help us protect the city in the past. And so, yeah, Prince Andrew was doing it to maintain his control and power over the city and to gain more influence and wealth and whatever else. I don't know. That's why Laryl was doing it. Maybe it was. Maybe she's bamboozled me, bamboozled all of us this whole time. But I worry that the concern is not whether or not we harm the city of Waterdeep directly, but rather whether the attention that we garner, the spotlight that is put on us is a draw for trouble. Hmm. I mean... An entire block of the North Ward was pulled into Avernus. We didn't do it, but it happened because we were there. The honey raises a wing yeah. from the floor. <laughs> I just had a thought. <laughs> it's just like, ugh. <laughs> that also brings to mind a thought, though. Like, we all had the same dream that revealed to us we would become mass lords. Laryl gave us that dream. Laryl has, up until this point, been probably our biggest supporter. Well, not like not in like super biggest supporter, but like a lot of the things that have happened to us in the last year. Uh, a lot of I... a lot of the things that have happened to us in the last year have been with her aid or her approval mm-hmm. um so i'm kind of curious as to why now the extreme heel turn or even if it is really maybe Silverhand was the clue not as to who did it but who was the person to weaken whose control of water deep we've been an ally to Laryl for we've been their ally for a while we've backed them up for many moves I mean I think there's been an undoubted level of 
instinct and trust that they would protect Waterdeep of any kind. And uh, we've worked in line with that. So I just been... struggle to think that my best friend would do us like that. <laughs> you're, you're what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? My best friend. Well, Jonathan, <laughs> she, I, I mean, we've been an ally, but, you know, Laurel also seems like the type of person that can feel threatened if well, we get too powerful. Mm. Right. Um, oh, I mean, maybe we're I'm not doing casting, too well. I'm not casting any dispersions on no. uh, Goswick's best friend here. Thank you. But, uh, I'll allow sometimes, it. Sometimes you want to do just good enough. You know, yeah. you don't want to do too well. You don't want to do too bad. And maybe but we, we've been. You know? Such an open book with her. We, I mean, we've had that open is... communications. I don't know why that concern wouldn't have been brought to us. I, mean, I, I send to... her a drawing every month. <laughs> oh, now it all makes sense. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I simply, you know, it is. It, it Kent is right. It doesn't make sense. I mean, Waterdeep is the first place that we have perhaps considered home in a long time. If Laryl wishes us gone, and again, she has helped before, if she wishes us gone, she could simply tell us. Mm. I mean, yes, we might not accept that, but we might not accept that easily, and we might not, but this, this seems oddly convoluted for something that she is behind, to have us abducted and taken out of Faerun. So should we ask her? Mm. Possibly. <laughs> yes. I mean, I, I, we could, but would she give us a straight, like a straight answer if that was the case? Like, would she say, yes, that was my, I don't know. Uh, we could ask her. I don't know if the answer would be worth anything, though. I guess it depends on what we think is more likely to be her motivation. If it's the preservation of Waterdeep from the troubles that we bring, then bringing up the issue plainly with her might be enough to get her to tell us because we can offer solutions. I'm, I don't want to speak for all of us, but... If Laryl feels the city is safer without us, then maybe that's a conversation that we should have together. If mm. the reasoning and the motivation is less beneficent, well, then you're right, Shaka, but maybe there's something still that we can learn from the encounter. The trouble would be, of course, getting her to chat with us in the first place, since it seems that she is involved one way or another. And Sleaze so leans yeah. forward. How come none of you are thinking about the fact that she could very well be using keep your enemies close and your friends, keep your friends close and your enemies closer? That could be a tactic. Also, it seems to me that she's not the direct type to just tell you what she wants. Yeah. Mm hmm. Well, if she were trying to keep her enemies closer, trying to have us sent well far away from Waterdeep, and per the original plans to have us imprisoned here, on, imprisoned here, it's just not adding up. Well, here's a thought, though, right? And and again, I'm kind of spitballing here, but I like where Celise is like uh, going here. If Laurel orchestrated us leaving, mm -hmm. knowing that we most likely would come back because, mm -hmm. you know, because we're good at what we do, um, maybe she's going to try to finagle this into, oh, the rivals left y'all or um, or like even within these uh, like I know people don't know who the uh, mass lords are in the meetings, but we could have potentially I don't know how long we've been gone, but we could have potentially you know, missed a whole bunch of, uh, you know, of uh, things that we were like supposed to do. So maybe she was just trying to get us out of the way temporarily mm. so that she can spin it into us not no longer or or like get, getting too big to care about 
the uh, the city to cast us in a negative light, but not make it look like she was doing it. Mm -hmm. And who knows um, what they've gotten up to while we were gone. Also, just to say, what if someone was coming for us? And the easiest way was to put this out of the city. And mm. Laryl tried to protect us. Nah, that's giving her too much credit, I think. Uh, for my best friend, I would give them that much credit. <laughs> I would trust if them with we... that. So here's my here's here's the here's the thing then. So I mean I'm, if I'm moving too far ahead, let me know. But like sure. so what do we do when we get back? Do we confront her directly? Do we lay low? Do we like what are our options when we I, get back? I... I think we should, given all that we've experienced, considering that we are dealing with people who supposedly have the best interests of the city at heart, if Laryl's not the person that we should talk to, I hesitate to say, maybe we should seek out Mert. Yeah, I was thinking, mm. shocking no one, the same thing. Yeah. Uh, if we arrive, at the very least, he has yeah. shown that he cares enough about the city to try and restore its protection. Especially in a way that is not always in favor of what Laurel stands for or in any capacity. Well, other thing I'd want to ask though is I don't know what sort of defenses or um sensory magic is at place around Waterdeep around the area that we're arriving in because we may uh, come in on the damselfly and the moment we arrive we it will be known i mean i can i can uh, put invisibility or something on the ship or i i can provide some sort of distraction from the visual eye but should we just maybe also go straight before someone ambushes us again I, I... Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll find it. I mean, we are, we don't have to go back to Waterdeep directly. We can certainly arrive perhaps outside, but I also feel whoever, whoever provided that information on us definitely did their homework. They know us, they know what we would do and they know the most likely outcome. It suits our purpose to return to our home as if nothing out of the ordinary happened to us. Perhaps keeping the information that Andrew gave to us, whatever we can do with that to ourselves for now. Hmm. I kind of like that. I kind of feel things out a bit before we act. And I could do with a hot bath and I'm sure and and she pets Fenner, so I'm, I'm sure he would like to not be on a spaceship for a while. Um, yeah, since I believe it was, we have a long time before we get home. Uh, Rival, are there orders, or is it possible to at least do makeshift rest areas on board? Do you mean as in sleeping quarters? Yes, there are several of us. If you go to the lower deck, I can fabricate, I believe what the word is in trade is a bed. <laughs> for you yes. all. And something more accommodating for your quadrupedal companion than a and there's a pause where the computer's trying to figure out what this is that Gosrick has used to to lash, um, lash him down. Mm -hmm. Then a biological harness would all six of you and your quadruped like to rest at once. I do have the star chart aligned, and I can get us there without any issues. Yes, please. We will. We will. Definitely need seven spaces to rest in something for our quadrupedal companion. All right. Um, you start to hear noises from the lower deck, and it's clearly like 
However the ship is managing this, you know, basically a legally distinct replicator, there are beds being constructed mm-hmm. and a and a soft fur for Fenris, a.k.a. Space magic. Bed. Yes. <laughs> so uh, you all can take some time to rest in the lower mm-hmm. level of the ship. Um, there's even food when you get down there. And it's just hot food. It's nothing. It's not super specific, like on the galleon. But there's flagons of tea. There's some wine. And there's like generic space stew, not fantasy stew. You don't know what the meat is, and you probably shouldn't ask. It's food. It's hot. Don't care. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, exactly that. <laughs> Um, and then you hear a chime. Should any of you wish to bathe, I can provide a washing space. It is not what you may be accustomed to, but if you do wish to become clean. Although the computer also does not know that you can just press the digitate control. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, does the, uh, I mean, uh, sorry, rival, this yes. is, this is wonderful. Uh, does the captain's quarters have? Does the captain's quarters have those amenities? Oh yes, the commanding I, officer. I believe that we can. I, I believe that we can um, use it at our at our leisure. We are more than able to work that out. Thank you. And you see lights appear, kind of like almost emergency lights on the floor, leading toward where the commanding. I mean, it's not going to be spacious as what you had on the other ship, obviously, but um, if you like. Kent and Virgil can take that space for themselves. Just giving everybody basically time to time to wash and bunk and do whatever needs doing, since we definitely need the sleep and we want to get to Honey's bones back. <laughs> I would I would like my bones back, please. It's a, it's a, it's a no. It's already a no bones day for Dahani, so like, yeah. we need to get the bones back. Yeah, I mean, she's she's a burb. Yeah. She has small bones. I want my bones and my key points, please. <laughs> please and thank you. Uh, but yes, you all can get some sleep unless anybody has anything else they would like. To I would do. definitely like. I would definitely like to bathe. Um, I've temporarily been in the clothes of a zombie. That was your um, choice. And, I love it. Uh, that was absolutely other... your choice. So anxious just... sweating and stuff. So mm-hmm. I would. I would mm-hmm. like to. Uh, Yummy. Bathe, no. please. Yeah. I would. I would imagine that we that we take the time to bunk down and. Basically, you know, swap out, wash using the captain's quarters, and then yeah. just bed down because all of us are probably on, like Dahani has already, we're probably like on this razor's edge of like, if we sit yeah. down, we're out. Uh, yeah, that fight, like I said, and with that resurrect, a true resurrection, running low on spell slots. We would love yeah. to rest. It's like when you're traveling, you know, if you sit on the bed, that's it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what a familiar feeling. Wouldn't Truly. know anything about that <laughs> at all. Um, so yeah, unless there's anything you all want to chat about before everyone goes night night, it is a quiet, smooth, and for you especially Virgil because you're used to ships. This is smooth. This is so smooth you would not know you were moving if you did were not aware you had a destination. Again, there's just like not like there's there's a bit of an astonishment about it, but again, it's like it's something about this, and maybe. You know, maybe it's not the dream that everybody had, but it is definitely dreams that Kent and Virgil have talked about. Like, it feels familiar, but we are on our way home after a very fraught experience. There's very little that Virgil's going to question as long as we're heading back towards Waterdeep. All right. Well, you all get some sleep. Nothing weird happens. (laughs) For once. It's not weird. Hey! You, you get a small reprieve, you get a small reprieve. And uh, you land probably about a mile outside of Waterdeep because landing in this ship would cause people to freak out. They would not know what it is. They would just think a giant dragonfly has landed in the middle of town. So, sure. you know, it's it's a nice smooth landing. The ship, you know, knows you've hired it. And uh, you hear soft chiming to wake all of you up. Oh, how gentle. It is. It's like that noise. It just gets progressively louder, but still doesn't oh, get super loud. Love. Mm-hmm. Uh. So, uh, uh, Kent and Virgil, specifically you two, mm-hmm. 
did either of you have any thoughts about further thoughts about you know kind of what has happened and also how quiet Faye and Selyse have been and how Selyse seemed a little too at home on that throne um I mean I think Kent right now is has a little bit of the self-doubt that he generally hides so well about whether or not we are actually good for water deep and i think mm -hmm. that's real hard for him to shake so i'd i mean i think in the moment back when we were in the palace it might have struck him but i think after our conversations about like why is Laryl doing this and is she going to tell us about it and how do we deal with it and why didn't she just talk to us uh, he's beginning to sort of fall into this place of like, Ugh, here we go again, right? Like, I thought I was being good. I thought I was being helpful in the place that I called home. And maybe I was just making it worse again. Mm -hmm. yeah. There there was a moment where there like there was a discomfort in how, um, I mean, knowing, knowing Solis, it was a little more than her usual, like, okay, I've defeated you. I'm going to, I'm basically going to sit down now. It was a very much like if we hadn't had somewhere to be, Virgil's not sure she would have, she would have gotten up. Mm. Now, even in that moment, we did sort of discuss the logistics and the palace retainers did let us know, like it would be really easy, not necessarily to overthrow, but at the very least to have Andrew torn to shreds by his people. But you know, that doesn't necessarily mean an actual transition of power. So, no, but it's, for Virgil, it's very much a, there's this feeling of, you know, do we have to, essentially, like, it's it's like every kid, like, are we going to have to move again? Like, do, yeah. we, do we have yeah. to give up the place mm -hmm. that we thought we could stay and move on? And staying... You know, staying on the rock of brawl was not an option. No. At least it didn't seem as such. Maybe now that we now that we have a ship, maybe it is. Um, but it's I don't I don't know. It it it's really kind of all of it is very unsettling. Mm -hmm. And 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 yeah, like this is this is a very large thing to take on if if um Laryl is our enemy. I don't know if either we or any of the city will survive that kind of fight. Yeah. Okay. Well, welcome home. You are back in Waterdeep. <laughs> hey! I mean, your adventure is a, a mile walk is nothing for you all. Um, I think just uh, as like neutral and not like sneaky, but like quiet and not, I know this is hard for me to say, but not like <laughs> ostentatious welcome home as possible to get back. No, in. we just walk in and walk home. Yeah. yeah we're just yeah. walking home. Just walking through the street. Yeah. Um, Making your way downtown. Making my way downtown. Uptown. <laughs> Question about that. Uh, in or out of character? Yeah, out of character, actually, just like deeply. Um, what happens to the damselfly? Is it, I was, I was, is it, I was, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was actually gonna talk to talk to Rival and. Oh, well, what would you like to say to Rival? We are home. Thank you for getting us here. We don't really say. I looked these up, and they are large, and they don't really like. They can't do waters. So they basically just we leave it a mile out of town. Um, will you be? Will you be safe and protected here on your own? Do you have a means of defending yourself? And as you say that, like interior lights pop up and you see like the turrets that were hidden. A. A. Yes. This ship does have defense system. Wonderful. We are unable to take you with us any further than this, mm -hmm. but we will be back for you. Well, the documentation you gave the porter does not indicate that I must be returned, so I will conserve. Uh, no, like we are keeping this life. Mm -mm, no, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. 
So okay. Rivals just says, I will oh, I will awesome. power down to conserve energy as I do not, as I have not scanned a yeah. power source. Mm -hmm. But I will remain here unless you wish to summon me. And and out of his console, you get a, a small disc that you can use to summon the ship. Oh, and is the ship have an optical it, drive reader back at Troll School? Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, just, uh, just I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll yeah, figure it exactly. out. I'll make something. No, it's basically uh, like, like almost like a sending stone where you can just right. kind of catch mm -hmm. it. Question about um, where are they? Do I need to make a hangar out of like, do I need to grow a hangar out of nature to like cover the ship in our backyard? Whoa. Like, like uh, just your backyard. Just, yeah, yeah, the backyard of the troll school. Where, <laughs> where is no. it? We, yeah, we're basically we're we landed. Away. Yeah, it's like basically we kind of landed in a <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. in as in as much of a clearing as is possible a Thank mile you. outside the city. It is not this on water. water. It is actually on ground. So yeah. we could this say that we landed in a forest water. clearing, yeah. and it's it's pretty well protect, pretty well cam not camouflaged. Obviously, adventurers are going to find it because that's how adventurers do. Right, but it'll be yeah. fine on its own. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 uh, do you have any uh, cloaking uh, rival? Any cloaking ability? Who is are asking? Gonna, are we going to put a coat over it? What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't know about cloaking. Just just like put one of Ken's cloak. Well, just, okay. Do, just do you, invisibility. Okay, do, do you, yes, yes. Do, yeah. do you have any way to um, make yourself less visible? How about that? The, and you, you see like there's that, that light like the ship is clearly thinking. No. I do not have any such abilities, but okay. again, you hear the click, the click, click as all of the tourists pop out. If someone gets too close, they will regret it. Okay, fair enough. I also have. It's already more like us, and we've only been on it for sixteen hours. <laughs> <laughs> I can also, yeah, no, I, I, you're good. I was like, get transmute. Uh, was it mud to rock or transmute stone? Transmute rock. So I was like, right. I could, I, I can you make do something. not leave my pretty girl alone. <laughs> we are going to have words. Oh. The, the natural elements are also dangerous. I'm trying to provide some protection sometimes. And you, you know? are you all still in the ship or are you outside the ship? Yeah, yeah we're I, basically we're, we're we're kind of outside, yeah. like standing, yeah. like like what are we? Hmm, I, 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 and you <laughs> you hear a turret yeah. swivel and point at Gosric. <laughs> oh, okay, no. you got it. All right, if so, if you. Just saying, sometimes the rain leaves streaks. We'll you, get that. I'm oh, a, oh, oh, oh. I am a spacefaring vessel. Do you really think that water will harm me? I don't think it will harm you, but I don't want you to have to feel... You know what? You do your thing, Rival. You've made it clear. If you want a garage later, let me know. I can make that happen. <laughs> I am a <laughs> vessel. I would need yes. a hanger if I desired one. Okay. I just need to know how well Masood treats his own car at this point. Yeah. Oh, my, so, yeah. I, <laughs> my car is great. It, it's, I, I've had it. You know what? This is for the post chat. You know I don't know why I got so defensive <laughs> at this exact moment. I was like, excuse me. You know and, what? And, Gary and I are great. Gary the Hanada and I are doing Of course, great. Gary is the name of your car. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. It's a Hyundai Sonata. He's a Gary. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, you see, um, you see the ship start to power down, <laughs> fold back its wings. If someone stumbled on it, they probably would think it was some weird magical bug because that's how it looks. Mm. Yeah. You know, and it basically looks like a sleeping dragonfly while it's sitting there. Yeah. I, I love and, it. And then that person gets shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How you know, what is this? <laughs> they can would. We at... Yes. I was just going to say, can we at least tell Rival not to attack anybody that's not directly yeah, that's... <laughs> harmful to her that's all we need well, it's just her, we're trying her... to figure out if we're the bad guys and the, our ship is blowing up civilians no, her programming is it's not she's just going to shoot anything that crosses her path the in order for defense to kick in they would have to be trying to do something to the ship right 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 they gotta be threatened yeah I guess. it's not like i mean that was just because gosrick was being weird <laughs> imagine I... It's not weird to think that you should park your vehicle in a covered space. I'm going to put that out there. That's you know, all I'm going to say. You do know the ship can basically just get up and walk under the trees once too. That's fine. That's cool. Just anyway. That's great. Um, we go. So here we go. All right. So you've got, you've finally gotten back to Waterdeep. You've, you're rested. Everyone's spell slots. HP is all restored. And uh, you're walking back to town. And that's where we're going to stop. Yeah. Cool. All right.
it. All right, you survived. We have one more episode to do, and uh, I am pleased to say that next week we will have a guest for the first time on our show ever. <gasps> what? Yes. What? what? Yes. I'm shocked. I had no idea. I forgot. I, I thank you. I also forgot. Oh, that's I was awesome. Like, wow. I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you we are, we are, we are kidding. We, we are kidding. Yeah, we would not, we would not spring a surprise right. on a yeah. cast like that. Okay. I, <laughs> I wouldn't. I know who would, but they're not here right now. Um, oh, I, I thought I wondered myself. And you're like, yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, I was like, we, I, is, is she talking about us? Like, what? Yeah, yeah. No, there's no one here. Yeah. yeah, I'm very excited. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm very pleased to say that that bronze girl, Jasmine Bular. It's going to join us for our season 14 finale character. Uh, you'll find out when we get here next week, because I'm not going to spoil it. And uh, yeah, so we'll be seven instead of six for our season mm -hmm. 14 finale. Wow. Uh, we'll yeah. put out a tweet later. And uh, yeah, so we have 10 minutes left while we do our outros. Throw questions in the chat. Remember, questions for the characters, not for the cast. That is for next week. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> You too. If you watch the video back, you will see that both Latia and I immediately yeah. reach for our keyboards at the same time. <laughs> Whole mess. Oh. And with that, we're going to go in reverse order and we're going to start with Latia. Hi, everybody. I'm Latia. You can find me everywhere at Latia DeKees, except for where you cannot. So don't bother in those places. I don't know where those places are because I don't know. Um, Rivals is all I got because I work for Watsi now. That's it. Yeah. All right. Masood. Uh, that's that's it. Okay. Hey everyone. I'm Masood. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Marood Boy, M-A-H-R-U-D-E-B-O-I. Um, I'm here with Rivals on Sundays, having a blast. Currently, Rivals is the only show I'm on, and you know what? I'm looking to get my next year a little busy. So if you've got some other places to slot folks in, feel free to reach out. I'd love to come and play. If you're cool, no, I'm kidding. I'll probably have a good time, even if you're not. Clearly, I'm not. Uh, 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 so wow. we're gonna wow. ride along uh, wow. up next, Brian. Yeah, hi, I'm Brian, <laughs> aka Urban Bohemian, pretty much everywhere on the internet. Uh, you can find me here on Sundays uh, with the Rivals. You can also find me on my own channel on Tuesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, coming up this week on Friday, I'm going to be working with Tiltify uh, for part of their Claws My Cause, which is a tongue twister of its own. Um, <laughs> So if you head over to Twitter, if I knew it was because something was going to happen. Um, if you head over to Tiltify's um, page on Twitter or their blog, you can see how to set up your charity stream uh, with the appropriate overlay and tags. And maybe you'll get a visit from uh, Tiltify Santa uh, for your charity stream. On Saturday, in addition to my own stream, I'm going to be over on Painting Pirates channel along with Tanya, uh, Cypher of Tear, and Space Valkyries as he hosts us for his version of um actually which is um actually no, uh, no. which is a version of it's a version a home version of the um actually game benefiting the national children's alliance say it louder event uh, and that's going to be next saturday i said it and then i lost it and i'm so sorry um and at 3 30 today over on the sonar podcast network's youtube uh, they are doing an all-day uh, comedy marathon um, and the podcast that I work with, Cyberpunk Independence, uh, has a little half an hour bit that's actually happening in uh, at 3.30 Eastern, so in a half an hour on their YouTube channel. We'll be doing the after show, but you go listen because it's going to be funny. All right, Eugenio. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Eugenio. I'm DM Jazzy Hens. Uh, what? I, things are winding down for the year for me. Uh, so I have a couple of streams left next week, Tuesday and Thursday on my channel. Uh, we started Stray last Thursday, so we're going to finish that up on Tuesday and then we'll see what we do Thursday. Uh, season finale of Into the Motherlands is on Wednesday night, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific uh, on Cypher's channel. Just TV slash Cypher of Tear. Uh, the crew finally got off of the Nightmare Planet and came back to their own planet, and it's kind of a nightmare. Um, so that's very exciting. Come check us out for our season four finale then. And I, I think that's all I got for you this week. Sharif. All right. Uh, you can find me at sharifjackson.com, S H A R E E F jackson.com, uh, and Sharif Jackson on all social networks. Uh, Rivals is all I got in terms of streaming things. Um, so just catch me on the uh, social networks in the webs, um, talking about a lot of cool things. So that's all I got. Um, I'm Tanya, Cypher of Tear. All the things that everyone already mentioned is what I'm doing in this upcoming week. So, uh, hang out with painting pirate motherlands um watch out for announcement for friday um, i'll be doing a thing during the street fighter 6 beta phase 2 
if you are a fighting game fan uh if you get in that beta let me know we can throw some hands in a friendly way <laughs> what i like throw hands in a friendly yeah. way i like that a lot <laughs> Tanya, who's your main in Street Fighter? Do you have one, or do you? Oh, you well, in Street Fighter overall is Cammy, but we don't think Cammy's coming back to six. Okay. She hasn't been announced. Not yet. We got a bunch of new characters announced at the Game Awards. Sure, um, sure. But Ken and Ryu, because also Ken is not divorced. Apparently, that caused a concern during the <laughs> oh. reveal of the game. There was actually an article saying Ken was not divorced. Their husbands? Um, how could they be divorced? Not. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Good. I lost my train of thought. Um, okay. <laughs> so, uh, Street Fighter doing a thing Friday. Once I get the clear to announce exactly what it is, uh, follow on socials. And then um, I have many games to play because Midnight Suns is out, Callisto yeah. Protocol is out, everything is out. So, yeah. if I'm not gaming, I'll be crafting <laughs> on my channel because mm. now that I'm back home and from the Game Awards, I'm going nowhere else until 2023. Yay! So, um, yeah, I think that's it. And we got a few, we got a couple questions. Oh, we'll get it. Um, oh, this is a question for Jeff, Jimmy, Bernard. How are you doing now that you're back? Uh, all I know is I, I was in jail, but I was helping my, my friends. We were supposed to arise, arrest those rivals. But now I don't know. I don't even know what day it is. Why am I here? Why? Why are my clothes disgusting? <laughs> Jimmy Bernard sounds like me on a Thursday. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> uh, I'm not okay. I think. I think I need to not be a guard anymore. I don't know what's oh, happening. Good. That's, good. that's good. Honestly, yeah. yeah. If we make them reconsider their choice. Yeah. Their life choices in law enforcement. Then I feel like that's it was cool. a job well done. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's right. We're all yeah. here for it. Um, um all right oh go ahead one for shaka because mm -hmm. i think we're sk yeah we're skipping the others um as the first rival to do time in two different jails are you considering rebuilding the building joke building as a front for your criminal enterprises mm. Ooh. good question um i will say that if there's any way that i can combine the magic of joke building with a criminal enterprise, Ooh. then that might be considered. Uh, you know, like for instance, if there was a criminal that relied on jokes and laughter in some other universe, mm. um, that might be. I was going to say, most of, of your jokes were pretty criminal, were pretty criminal so I'm just ah, saying. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. Hey, hey, well, not, maybe not stick bad to being a look. Stick to riddles, because there's nobody yeah. who's got that bit down. No one's doing no, it. True. No. Yeah. A sphinx yeah. somewhere cracks its head. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You got it. Oh, boy. Wow. And I think that's kind of it. Even with all yeah. of our weird tech issues, we finished on time, if not early. Yeah. Look at that. Heck yeah. Yeah. Well um, Thank you all for sticking around. Yes. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for your patience, because... Our tech gremlin went from a CR2 to a CR4. Who knew? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't want a CR4 tech gremlin IRL. With that, uh, we're going to go take a break, do the after show, but don't go anywhere because we're going to go raid our pal Misty uh, Imperial, <laughs> and I think she is talking and sewing today. Oh, nice. So um, we're going to throw up that end screen and go say hi. Misty's pronouns are she, her. She has her own Twitch team, Wiki Cookies. She's also a member of Team Cypher. So either way, you support a couple great Twitch teams. Also be nice. And uh, we'll see you next week for the end of season 14. Wow. <gasps> Amazing. Wow. Yeah. All right. Let's go get it. See you all soon. Bye. <laughs>